Hello everyone, it is your homie, the one and only, the Star Tamer, back in another YouTube video, and today we're going to be going over unanswered loot questions about Lumion Legacy, alright? Now I've got three of them right here, uh, two of them can kind of be grouped together. We're gonna start this in order of, like, most, like, questions that aren't super groundbreaking to questions that are very groundbreaking, alright? And even though there's only three, um, it's gonna go from, like, a mild, mild confusion to, holy crap, what is going on? First question, if you go back to Midas Town, alright, if you are back in Midas Town, okay, sweet old city, sweet old starting city, from original PBB, if you go to this house right here with the bald man right outside, and you go inside this house, alright, now I've obviously already completed this, you talk to this person, thank you for being so kind to show me your gleaming lumen. Did you know that some researchers theorize that there are multiple variations of the Gleam gene? They call them Alpha Gleam and Gamma Gleam. Cra crazy, right? Okay. That's the end of the conversation if you've already completed the mission. Now, her mission that she gives you is that she wants to see a Gleaming in the flesh. So, you talk to her first. I actually have some footage right here that I'll show you. this footage, she talks about the fact that there are two trainers. In the bottom right-hand corner, there'll be correction if I'm wrong, or if they've been found, but there are two trainers that she's met that have Gleaming Lumions, okay? So far, as of a uh, Sephirite City update, all the way to the end of, I think, Route 8? Yeah, all the way to the end of Route 8. Nobody has found any trainers with Gleaming Lumions. These two trainers, maybe we'll see them in Atlantean City, or maybe they'll forever be a question. But we have not seen any trainers with Gleaming Lumions, but this character right here, I don't know her name. She specifically tells us that there are two trainers out there. Two NPCs that have Gleaming Lumions. Maybe we'll find them. Maybe we won't. And question number two. Okay, this requires a little bit of build-up, right? So... The question I am to I have is about a guy, your friendly old pal, your Behelmi, Dr. Halloween, alright? Crazy green-haired guy that's shown up in the 2020 Halloween event, 2021 Halloween event, and, um, it's kind of insane. So, in Pollute Camp at Court, if you go this way, okay, in the 2020 Halloween event, what you would do is you'd go down to this area, and you'd go in this little pocket area where there's this guard talking about how you need a Absolute key card to get in here. So you go into this building, right? And in here is where you'd enter Dr. Halloween's nightmares to get into the 2020 Halloween event. In Halloween's nightmare, you talk to this Lumion named Metronet, who might not even exist, by the way. We'll, we'll get to that later. But you see, you, you talk to this Lumion, and they talk about how Dr. Halloween is messing with forces that he does not understand. Now, credit to the footage that I'm about to show you. The only evidence that we have that Dr. Halloween has been traveling into different realms or dimensions that wasn't the 2020 Halloween's Nightmare is from this guy right here. Where well, they refer to him as a mad scientist, and sometimes I do particular science, blah blah blah. The only other, other than the 2020 Halloween event, but he talks about you can milk a coconut without splitting it open. He later proved his theory was correct and he created a device that would open a wormhole linking one spot in space to a location with the interior of the coconut. Pretty much what the rest of this talks about is how he opened a wormhole inside of a coconut that transported all the milk into the coconut out of the coconut without opening it with wormhole technology. Why Dr. Halloween would do this? Who knows? But that is the only evidence other than the 2020 Halloween event that Dr. Halloween has been messing with dimensional control. Okay, and opening up wormholes. Now in that, it implies, in that footage I showed you, it tells you that Dr. Halloween went into Metronet's universe, and that's why Metronet's haunting him. What is- what is- what is Dr. Halloween looking for? The fact that he is 
went to mention his universe clearly implies that he's looking for something. Why, why else would he be going to different realities? I mean, maybe to research, but I highly doubt that. I mean, that is a possibility. But the way that it's worded, that the way Metronet's talking is that he's been to several, that he's been to other universes before that Dr. Hallone's been to Metronet's. So, this leads to my third and final question. Is Dr. Hallowen a part of Team Eclipse? Now, at first, this <laughs> kind of sounds stupid. But maybe there is a small chance that Dr. Hallowen is actually part of Team Eclipse because... Team Eclipse in Pokemon Brick Bronze had an obsession with creating a new reality in which they'd all be like kings and lords and emperors. If you want more information, just watch the ending of Pokemon Brick Bronze. At the end of Pokemon Brick Bronze, they were successful. They brought back Hoopa and Hoopa opened up a reality. Dr. Cypress, the gang, and Jake all went to this portal and they teleported to different locations. So is, is Dr. Halloween part of Team Eclipse? Because maybe they managed to communicate with Halloween. Or Halloween is one of these bosses that lost some of his memories, but didn't lose his motivation to enter into different realities, and he's trying to figure out why he's so desperate to do it. That's kind of a stretch, but thank you guys so much for watching. Those are my three questions, and that'd be about it. And I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. I also said in the pr in this video that how I talked about how Metronet might not even exist, but um, in the Lumapedia, it very clearly says that um, yeah, Lumian from another dimension, which implies that Metronet actually does exist. So uh, just just forget about that.